This is scary. You just press the trigger with these. Bear with me, I'm really scared. Apparently I got a few more freckles. Morning guys. I had to put on my hood because I have a lot of like issues going on up there. A lot of snow on the roof. I'm just on my way out to the barn. I want to weigh some uh, market lambs this morning. I haven't shipped in two weeks so, so this should be a fairly good week to ship. Where'd you come from? All right, I've got all these guys loaded, locked and loaded in the uh, chase and in the tub. And they're moving better every week, which is good. So I'll just show you a few. Uh, I'm only scanning the ones that are 105 and over. I'm gonna stick with that weight range, uh, unless I may look at the chart and change my mind. I think I'll have enough this week. Okay, the first one on is 110 pounds, so it is good. I'm gonna scan our tag or his. Go. So, a ram lamp, a triplet for an October 3rd. It is a steel cross Rito and uh, it's gained 0.87 pounds a day since it was born, but one pound a day since we last weighed it, which was two weeks ago. So, it, uh, it is marked to get shipped. It's going to hang a main left. Once I open the door. Okay guys, sorry, just had a bit of a rodeo getting everybody back. Um, I made this pen a bit bigger so they could have the grain for one more day. Anyway, I got 21 lambs, which is great. It's a fairly decent load on the trailer, so it's worth kind of my time to go there. I actually took 100 pounds and over. So my average weight in this group was 107. I would think if I take them uh, Wednesday night, by the time they go to the ring on Thursday, they'll probably average anywhere from, they're probably gonna be in and around that 100 pound range. So not crazy bad. The minimum weight was 102, max was 119. This is what I'm doing this afternoon. I am experimenting with another set of Hoof trimmers. A good family friend of my parents, he's been watching my videos, Glenn, if, if you're out there, hello, thank you for this. Um, so he actually recommended these. He said, I think they're from France. So they're called in facto, they're battery operated shears. Uh, they are not cheap. Uh, Electrocoop F3010. The instructions are all in French. Uh, I didn't fail French class, but I might as well have. And it comes with lots of stuff. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna figure this all out and I will let you see what it looks like when I set it up. All right, so I'll catch up with you guys in a sec when I have this figured out. You guys can witness this. I might end up putting it on a time lapse because it might take a while. Google. I'll be right back. Okay, I had to get Mark out to bring my instructions. 
because the internet has one video and the guy never turned to the camera to show me how it was set up. So I'm going to model this whole contraption. If you can see. All right, so it came with a belt. I can't see myself, so hopefully you can get the get an idea. I should have got someone to take my video. So battery pack goes here. Uh, the gun holster goes, there's a little clip inside this belt on the inside. So there's a holster on its own. You can put your gun in there. Backpack kind of looks like so. This is scary. All right, I'm gonna get to work here and give you guys the full lowdown on these things. My Vino turntable, um, I actually was waiting and I was, I was talking with Andrew. There's another style of a hoof trimmer. I'm still hoping to get those that in. He's waiting on a part to come, to come on the next boat over because uh, they're from Holland, this company. Uh, Belinda has one too, so I was gonna borrow hers, but with COVID and everything, I'm just like, just, I'm just gonna use this one again. Uh, the rams are in need of a hoof trim, so when they're done breeding in 21 days, two weeks or so, uh, I, I'll, I'll maybe try to get that table for them and show you guys how I like that. But for today, I'm using my old Reliable because I love her. And let's get to work. So if this is your first video with me, uh, this, this table acts as a squeeze chute kind of. Everything squeezes on them to keep them so they won't move and they won't kick and I won't get injured and they won't get injured. Now they do still flinch. They still have that ability. So, but when you see me squeezing it, it's, it's kind of for their protection. And then I'm gonna turn them all the way upside down and go as fast as I can trimming hoops. All right, I'm very scared. So, you just press the trigger with these. And it's supposed to do the work for me. So again, I'm taking a little bit off the tip, and then their toes grow around. So they kind of grow like this. So I just trim both sides so everything's kind of flush to the, to the kind of the palm of their hoof. That is not the terminology. Bear with me, I'm really scared. Okay, that's cool. I'm like barely touching it because I'm scared. Oh, it's okay. So, it's actually pretty... It's actually pretty responsive to how you... If you press quick, it actually moves quick, but if you go slow, like me, then it's okay. So I'm just very timid. I don't want to hurt her and I don't want to hurt me. It's pretty amazing. Very psychological for me. So, okay, so if you have really big hooves, if you put the setting all the way to the bottom there, it'll open all the way up. So some of those big Ile de France hooves, if they're really, uh, uh, really thick, then you can do that. But mine are, these little Rideaux are pretty small. There we go. Okay, I like that I can stop it halfway. I was concerned I wouldn't be able to, but it, you really can, they're very responsive. So I'm gonna leave those there, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go to the front, they do this sometimes. So I'm gonna just do it down here. Very nice, wow, I like it so far. So there you go, that, that was really easy. These Rideau hooves are so soft, they're like a joy to do compared to some. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back in my holster. I'm actually going to do a video with my phone. And then I'll put a little insert in so you guys can see it better. So there we go. Really nice flush to the hoof. There's the other one, real nice. And that took me like no time once you get used to it. 
There you go. Good lady. I'm going to flip her up and get going here and let you guys just watch me do this. Hopefully I'll get faster as I get comfortable with it. Um, I just have everybody yelling at me not to cut off my fingers because I'm so accident prone. So I'm just leery. So bear with me. As you can see, it's been a bit of a day. Um, I am quitting now for today. I didn't get really started till two. It's about 20 to five. So that took a long time to only do, I might have only got about 21 or 22 done. Few issues happening today. One being the use can feel me tense. I am so tense because I'm so scared I'm gonna cut my hands. Uh, once I started chilling out a bit, they, they were a little better. There's some other things going on. Um, my holding area, because this barn does this whole freeze thaw all the time, it's getting kind of wet and mucky and they bring it in on their feet and on the bottom of this vino, it's just that straight metal. So it gets really slippery and if one slips and goes down, um, she thinks she can't get back up. She just refuses to get back up. So I'm like, literally trying to get these animals up in this little crate. The ones behind them see this chaos in front of them and every single one does it behind it. So, review of these. These are amazing. I, this is the only hand, this is the only thing in my body, my trigger hand, holding this for all those. It is the only thing on my body that is not sore. I can't do any more today. I like physically just can't do it. But my hand on this sucker, no problem. Easy breezy. I could write like a thousand word essay right now. But the rest of me is so sore because I'm fighting, I'm fighting this turntable today. And, and this time of year I do. Uh, the summer it stays real dry. But today it's just, I, it's just, stuff is just not going 100%. Apparently I got a few more freckles. Anyway, yeah, this was out of my hands today. I just physically can't do anymore. And the ewes are sensing it and they're just not cooperating. So I'm gonna white, wave the white flag for today and try to accomplish a few more tomorrow. Go on then, freeze your butt off. Let's see how that works out for you. Good morning, you guys. I owe Carissa a feed sheet, a new feed sheet. It is a blizzard outside. It is so gross. The last thing I want to do is hoof trim today in that. I'm hoping it's a bit warmer in the barn. So the other day, I think I talked to you guys about that group that got sheared. Our temperature has been pretty cold at night. Feed cleanup's pretty good, actually. It's not too quick, so I think they're okay. But I just want to... I just want to increase it a little bit just to make sure they're keeping warm enough to not lose any condition since they're preggers. So it's day two of hoof trimming and I thought I'd do a better job of actually putting it on so you guys, if you ever are looking at this, uh, that there be some sort of a video because the one that they have online uh, doesn't really show anything. It just shows how fast it is with a, like a super duper awesome system. So first of all, I actually put this on the charger last night. The battery life on those use, I was using it for probably almost three hours and it didn't even move. So the battery life looks to be really good. Comes in a nice big case. A lot more organized than I left it. There's a back strap here. So I'm just gonna throw that on for now. So the, uh, the solid part goes at the back here. The strap part goes at the front. Let's just start from fresh. Okay, here's the waist strap here. Here's the holster for the for the clippers. And there's a little, there's a couple little folds here that you can attach it to. So if that's on my 
back, it's going to be like so. There we go. Okay. Like so. Battery has a clip on the back. So put the one on that way and the other on that way. It's a perfect fit back there. So I'm right handed so I put the holster on my right side. I want it pretty tight because it kind of wiggles loose. Okay, so there we go. Battery pack loaded. Holster loaded. So the one end attaches to your clippers, obviously. I'm going to throw that in my holster so I don't cut myself. And then the other end goes to your battery, which I should have perhaps put together before. I'm going to put together here like so. Good. My clips need done up. There's a little hook for your cables here to keep it out of your way for the battery pack. This is the worst tutorial ever. Hook it back up. There we go. All right, so all you're left with is this. I'm going to put it on the side. There. To turn everything on, to turn everything on, there's a button beside the battery pack right here. A switch. You just turn it on. You can see the battery life in this little display. And then it should send power to your... There's a green light when it's on. It takes a bit, but... Done! Okay, today I've got Carissa. She is going to be doing all the U handling because I am just so sore. So she brought them up for me. She's going to keep them coming into the, into the, uh, the Vino again and I'll actually do the trimming. And I think what we'll do today is I will do some timing of, like once I get in the rhythm again, because I'm slow to start. I'll do one U with the new ones and I'll do one U with the old ones, just to see the difference. <laughs> if you do fast, it'll go fast, but if you go like, I'm scared, I'm scared. So I won't cut off my fingers. But I was so tense yesterday because I was, everyone was telling me like, don't cut off your fingers, that I think that's why I'm like, I'm so tense. And then I think the U's knew I was tense, and that's why they were being cool. I think I feel like I take as long though because I'm, I'm actually can do them a bit better. Yeah, like it didn't even move yesterday, and I was using it for like two and a half hours. Okay, we're gonna time this. I'm gonna use my old trimmers for this U. Um, and then I will, we already did another U, but we'll do one again with these and time it and see what the difference is. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God, I hate them already. <laughs> oh, these aren't even that bad, these hooves. Oh, that's so weak. <laughs> How did I do hundreds of them like this? I don't know. <laughs> Certifiable. It's part of it too. If you take too long, they start wiggling.
They fight a lot more with these. Yeah. Probably because I have to hold them so tight. Right. Whereas the other ones aren't near as. Last time I had ORF, I put some salt blocks out for these lambs and it made a world of difference. So I just remembered to throw them in today. So we'll see if that dries. Is the salt supposed to help dry it up a bit? So um, we'll see if that helps. They've been right on it. So I got some in this pen and I have another salt block in the baby bo the bottle baby pen because they have ORF really bad. I'm not really sure how they got it. Uh, must be just transferring it because this pen has it so they must just be transferring it through the uh, through the panels we are done those hoof trimmers saved a lot of time I have done over a hundred U's in two days and yesterday I really only did about 21 maybe because I was not in a frame of mind of doing it I was still getting used to them as I was saying it's pretty loud in there uh, they're waiting to get fed this thing really expensive I think it's over 2,000 Canadian it's an investment for sure I trim a lot of hooves in a year I'm extremely happy with it my arm does not hurt I'd love them I am definitely buying them if you're doing a lot of hooves in a year then I'd, I'd I 100% recommend them, I recommend them, but uh, if you have a small flock, then I guess that's it. It's whether you can pencil pencil such an investment. But yeah, I really really like them. I'm hoping it's looking like the blades can come off and could be changed out or sharpened. So that's that would be my only thing is uh, blade longevity. You know how much is a new pair of blades? Other than that, uh, a good two days. Glad that job's done. Um, I actually lose Carissa at the end of this week because she goes back to school. So trying to get these jobs done while I have her. She's locked out. <laughs> her little snow globe. Carissa uh, ran out of fuel with just one cart to feed still tonight so she's just gonna finish up there she just finished up cleaning i finished up bedding that pen just so those nice freshly trimmed hooves um are on nice clean pack anyways you guys have a good rest of your day and we will see you soon take care